Hi guys, it's Carl here from Buzz Website Design and Marketing and welcome to another marketing snippet to help you grow your business. And in this short snippet I have two things to share with you that I've learned or rather has struck me um, since spending some time over the weekend in the mud at Castle Donington at the Download Festival. And the first thing that uh, struck me is all about pricing. When I first went to a festival in 1989, the ticket was £20. And at the time, that was an OK price. The tickets for download were over £80. And that's fourfold to have the prices gone up. And that's well and truly above the rate of inflation. Now, I know that the, the download festivals have become bigger. Um, I know there's an awful lot more on there. Um, but... You know, if you haven't adjusted your prices in any way, shape or form in recent memory, then I would urge you, urge you to consider uh, perhaps putting up your prices. If you're in a price sensitive industry, that might not be possible. But I would imagine that there are very few businesses. In fact, I'm fairly certain that there are very few businesses where you can't in some way, shape or form increase your prices. Now, you, may, you don't necessarily have to go fourfold. You can if you want. I'm not quite sure what would happen. But... If you've not put your prices up, then I urge you to do it as soon as you can. Because everybody knows that prices go up. It's an acceptable part of doing business. And I've met so many people who haven't put their prices up for years and then wonder why they're struggling. And the second part of this is all about using your audience or your customers to add a little bit of extra value for something extra for them and something extra for you. Now, obviously, when you go to a gig or when you go to any kind of concert, you've got all sorts of things that you can buy while you're there. Obviously, they sell plenty, plenty of T-shirts and a downloader would be, would be willing to bet they've sold tens of thousands over this weekend. And the minimum price is £20. And I know, we all know, these T-shirts don't cost £20 to make. So they're making a margin on it because they've got these enthusiastic customers who's almost like a, a captive audience for want of a better way. But it's extra value, you know, it's a souvenir for being there. So my thought is, is there a way that you can add a T-shirt or an extra value something um, whenever you get a customer? Because normally uh, there is... In almost every single business, there is a way of adding something, something else. It's a bit like having chocolates next to the checkout. Um, it's a bit like having on an online store, you know, the last person who bought this product also bought this one as well. It could also be an upgrade to the particular service that you offer. You could be asking to some, them to buy something else for an advantageous price. The point is, um, is that... When people want to buy from you, they trust you, they know, they know you, they like you. It's a great, great time to ask them if they consider buying that something else extra while they're there. So, anyway, just a short one today. I'm quite tired with getting to all these silly hours of this morning, but Iron Maiden were absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen them, please, I urge you to do so. But anyway, hope those two marketing tips have helped. If you can, go and do them. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. Oh, and just a quick tip, if you haven't already switched off, sure you're watching this, you haven't. Um, please, please, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. The link is up there, um, where you'll get an email from YouTube every time we produce one of these videos, uh, which is roughly once a week. But I can promise you that every time we do, it's there to help you to grow your business. Either get more customers, get more value-added customers, increase your profit margins, and effectively just grow your business. So thanks for watching again. Bye for now.